Hey everyone, Slightly here. This is going to be a quick Unity installation tutorial for Hollow Badge. If you haven't seen it already, be sure to check out the product trailer for Hollow Badge. And if you have questions beyond this video, check out the full documentation over on GitHub that you can read at your own pace, and the Discord server for you to ask any other questions you have left unanswered. To begin, let's click on Hollow Badge from the top dropdown. And if this is the first time you're using TMP or Text Mesh Pro in your project, you may have to click this Import TMP Essentials button. That will make the installer populate as usual. The first thing to look at is the default hand configuration to pick between right or left handed. And once you do so, pressing auto arrange will give us a rough estimation of about where those should be placed. The badge desktop preview will be across from your face. And badge VR, I like to make perpendicular to my hand. You may have to tweak this a little bit to get it to your liking, but you can use the edit position, rotation, and scale buttons to adjust those. If you have a marketer license, you can increase the number of banners that you'll expand to, and these preview edit buttons will give you access to all the cosmetic options for customizing Hollow Edge. So body color, color picker, edge color, color picker, as well as texture fields for the front and back icons, which you can resize or position using the fields below in case it doesn't fill out the space as you want. These reset buttons will restore everything to their defaults, and over here under banner, we also have a tag text field where you can type in anything you want. If you have something that's short though, you'll notice it might not be centered to the icon, but that's because the shape is a parallelogram, so it's still actually centered horizontally. But if you prefer that visual centering, you can add spaces to the end of your text in order to realign it as necessary. But if you have a long name like I do, it's usually less noticeable and fills out the space much better. So I'll be using that for my example. We have more color options down here for the frame, circle, and highlight color, which can also be reset. We can change out the logo that is displayed on a per banner basis, the same scaling position options. And you'll notice there's a little triangle fold out here that you can click on. And this is in case you wanna supply your own texture, which you can get the template for from this samples context menu and that you can download and edit in Photoshop, GIMP, your preferred photo editing software. And doing so will enable you to use maybe custom fonts, different kinds of styling, but for quick and ease of use, you can just enter simple text here. If you have the marketer license, you can also change the banner type to the add variant, where you'll notice it moves the logo over and opens up more room for you to display more text. To do this, you will have to use that same previously mentioned template to just uh, apply your own texture to fill in that space. This is good for public models, just displaying more information in general. Great alternative. So that pretty much covers most of the main settings. So let's go ahead and talk about these advanced options now. Under advanced options, we have a right defaults automatic checker. If it says auto, you can't even click this because it'll just adhere to your controller. <laughs> so if you do have mixed right defaults, you'll be able to change that. Hollow Badge also has custom sound effects. So if you don't want those audio sources, let's say for performance rating reasons, you can maybe disable this option. Constraint Controls gives you the option to choose whether or not things constrain on the badge or banner basis. So for example, when you open the badge before it turns into the banner, it keeps following your hand because by default, the constraint is off. But you can actually enable that if you want it to drop immediately when you pull it out so it just stays in the world. And then once it opens up to the banner, the banner then also constrains in place in the world so that it just is easier to read for most people who are looking at it. But you can disable that if you want it to follow you around almost like a, like a walking billboard, right? If you enable constraint controls, you will have control of these in-game and not just from the installer before you upload. If you have this enabled, then you will also have these save options for you to choose whether or not these behaviors save between avatar loads, world loads, just like most other toggles and how that saving works. And we're gonna skip past your creator integration for a quick second. We have custom VR follow target, which switches out that default hand configuration for a game object you can just drag in from your hierarchy. And by doing so, your badge will then follow that object instead of your hand. Because let's say maybe you want it to follow you like a follower, above your shoulder, above your head, etc. You can pick out your own object, right? You'll also notice avatar type down here, where you can pick between humanoid and non-humanoid. Because humanoid relies on you having hands and a head. But if 
you use non-humanoid, then you can just choose any object for it to follow in the first place. So it works with generically any avatar. Hollow Badge also has VR detection mode, which lets you pick between having that or basically not having that. When it's enabled, if you're in desktop, it'll position it here. If you're in VR, it'll position it at wherever you put the follow target or your default hand configuration, right? So that way it'll know which to use and in desktop you can control it with your mouse instead. By switching this over to head only, then it'll always be bound to your head so that it's the same both in desktop and VR. And if you prefer it to not be your head, you might as well just switch it to non-humanoid and use a custom follow target. So with that, we pretty much have all the settings done. I'm gonna save password creator integration for the end. So I can just click on begin setup now, and in just that one click, Hollow Badge will be installed on your avatar everywhere. Your FX layer, your menu, your parameters, you're done. At this point, once it is complete, you are good to upload. That is it. If I open up the installer again, you'll see options to remove it from your avatar or even delete it out of your whole project if you wanna clean up the generated files. And if I do that, they are gone. It's no longer on your avatar. So let's talk about password creator integration. Password creator is a product by Dreadrith that lets you add a password to an avatar to lock down your avatar in one of three ways or all of three ways avatar locking to the point where your avatar cannot move layer locking to the point where your animations don't work until the password is entered and menu locking where users cannot even open a menu in their expressions menu the little wheel menu until the password is entered you can use this for various reasons, a lot of which are great for public usage, public models. Um, avatars at the end of game worlds, avatars you want to share only with specific friends, avatars that you want to use as demo or trial avatars in your world. So Password Creator also has a function called pre-timer, which makes it so that the avatar does not lock at first until a certain amount of time passes, and then it locks down until you enter the password. So that's great for like trial avatars temporary versions of your paid avatars. So if we enable password creator integration, we have a new section that appears here called password creator integration settings. And this really relies on you knowing how you want to use password creator before you set this up, because you'll want to install hollow badge first and then password creator right after or a little after before you upload. So with hollow badge, we have a few different events you can use to trigger banners. Basically, what kind of password creator event do you want this banner to appear from? If I had more than one banner, you could, I could pick which banner shows up with that password creator event. So as an example, let's say I use avatar lock and I my avatar locks the second I load into it until I enter a password. I may want it to spawn banner two before the password is entered. And there's also an option for only when password creator menu is open. So you can choose whether or not the banner opens immediately or only if they open the password menu. So for before password, if I disable this, the banner will show up as soon as I load into the avatar, right? This might be one way you would like to use this. Saying, hey, this is a locked avatar, go join my server to get the password, right? Another way you might use this is with maybe during trial. So while the avatar is first loaded into, you have maybe three minutes before it locks down so I can use this to show up a banner whenever the password menu is open saying, hey, this is a trial avatar. It's going to lock in three minutes. If you don't want it to lock, go get the password, right? Or similarly, I can use after trial without the checkbox to say, as soon as the trial runs out, it'll lock down. The banner will forcibly open in front of me saying, hey, your time's up. You want to keep trying it out, reset the avatar or go get the password or go buy the avatar you know, um, and then after password is if for some reason you still want them to be able to see the banner afterwards, I recommend almost always using password creator menu open with after password because otherwise you're forcing them to have a banner in front of their face at all times, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so those are just examples of how to use these events. And this little plus sign just makes it so that in case you want to reuse one banner for multiple events, you can, right? 
Now, the last two options down here are if you are exclusively using Password Creator, or I should say Holo Badge with Password Creator, removing badge menu and parameters makes it so that you don't have the Holo Badge menu in your menu at all. This is only for use with Password Creator. If this were unchecked, like it were by default, then not only does it trigger on Password Creator, but you could also press it from your menu as normally to trigger it, even when there is no current active Password Creator event. The Sync Password Creator Banners and Parameters button makes it so that other people will be able to see the banners popping up while you are locked. If you don't care if other people see it because you only care about the local wearer seeing it, you can uncheck this to save on some memory. And the memory is corresponding to how many banners you have set in here in the first place. If you do use Holo Badge with Password Creator, you may want to rotate the banner in front of your face to be facing the wearer instead. And that pretty much covers all the settings for Password Creator. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out on Discord, check out support channels, read documentation. Otherwise, have a good time flexing your socials, I guess. <laughs>